A long time ago, I met my friend Clark. That time he was young. But when I told him that I'm going to take the PTCB exam, he said, remember these two formulas, because you will find some questions on the test. This is not a story, but in this video, I'm going to explain what is Clark's and Young's rules, and then we will do practice questions. Clark's rule. Clark's rule relates the dose of a child's weight as compared to an adult weight of 150 pounds. Note, Clark's rule uses weight in pounds, never in kilograms. Adult dose times weight of child divided by 150 equals child's dose. Young's rule. Young's rule uses age and easy to remember because it calculates the dose by the age of the patient. Adult dose times age of the child in years divided by age of the child plus 12 equals child's dose. Clark's rule and the Young rule will not always give identical answers. So, if you're asked to calculate a child's dose by Young rule, and if you use Clark's rule instead or another method, or if you forget both of them, you will not get the correct answer on the exam. Please memorize these two formulas. Let's do some practice questions. A little boy, Kevin, weighs 30 pounds, and he is 4 years old. Another child named Lisa is also 4 years old, but she has a weight of 40 pounds. The adult dose of ibuprofen is 250 milligrams. Find the doses of both children with Young's rule and Clark's rule. Let's calculate the doses of Kevin. I'm going to write Clark's rule. Adult dose times weight of child divided by 150 equals child's dose. Adult dose equals 250 milligrams. Kevin's weight equals 30 pounds. Please make sure it is not in a kilogram. 250 times 30 divided by 50 equals 250 times 0 0.20, which equals 50 milligrams. Now, let's do this with Young rule for Kevin. He is 4 years old. Now we are going to insert information in the formula. Adult dose equals 250 milligrams. Adult dose times age of the child in years divided by age of the child plus 12 equals the child's dose. 250 times 4 divided by 4 plus 12 equals 1000 divided by 16 equals 62.5 milligrams. Now I'm going to apply both rules for the second child named Lisa. Age 4 years old, weight 40 pounds, adult dose 250 pounds. Young rule. Adult dose times age of the child in years divided by age of the child plus 12 equals child's dose. 250 times 4 divided by 4 plus 12 equals 1000 divided by 16 equals 62.5 milligrams. This is the same answer as Kevin's dose by using the Young rule. Clark's rule. Adult dose times the weight of the child divided by 150 equals child's dose. 250 times 40 divided by 150 equals 250 times 0 0.0266. 66.7 milligrams. So if you compare for both children, Kevin and Lisa, they produce different dosages after using Clark's rule, but Young rule produces the same answer. Let's take a look at what kind of question you might see in the test. A child is 5 years old and weight 60 pounds. The adult dose of amoxicillin is 250 milligrams. Calculate the child dose by using both Clark's rule and Young's rule. Quiz time. Three questions. How many milliliters are in one teaspoon? The answer is five milliliters. How many pints are in one quart? The answer is two pints. How many pounds in one kilogram? The answer is 2.2 pounds. If you like this video and find it useful, please like and subscribe to my channel and write some comments. Thank you.